Well, cancer is the leading cause of death in dogs. Well, now 800 of them, some right here in the Bay Area, may help lead the way to prevent this disease. KPX finds Julie Goodrich on how the results may not just help dogs, but humans as well. It's estimated one in three dogs will develop cancer, but now a top researcher is looking into a new strategy to stop the disease before it ever hurts your pet. At the UC Davis Veterinary Hospital in the small animal clinic. Lift with the knees. Meet Max. <laughs> All right, buddy. He's uh, very healthy. He's six years old. Yes, thanks. It turns out this little beagle is a big pioneer. For us, it was really just in the name of science. Here we go. I know. Max is enrolled in a major new study. It's the largest clinical trial ever conducted for canine cancer. The hope can we prevent cancer in healthy dogs by using an experimental vaccine. The vaccine targets roughly 30 abnormal proteins that are found on the surface of different kinds of cancer cells. Just shave a little spot. Max first gets a little shave on his back leg, then ready. That's all it took. Some dog cookies quickly followed. This is a good boy. There we go. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Once injected, the vaccine aims to work in a similar fashion as a flu or measles shot. It primes a healthy dog's immune system to be on alert. So they can identify and kill these cancer cells before they can blow up into a full-blown tumor. Veterinary oncologist Dr. Jenna Burton says unlike some immunotherapy strategies that focus on treating noticeable tumors. We're trying to get the immune system to recognize these abnormal cells even earlier in the process. Oh, their teeth are so beautiful. In the trial, dogs are randomized to get a series of the real vaccine or a placebo. No one knows who gets what. Max will be checked two to three times a year for five years. He's getting excellent treatment. Renee Swank is Max's owner. Immediately, we knew that we wanted to try to get him enrolled in the program. Why? Well, at home, Max has a best friend, another beagle named Lucy. Lucy has mast cell cancer, the most common skin tumor found on dogs. She's been through surgery and treatment. We've gone through it with Lucy, and it would just be nice to not have him have to go through that, too. Not all dog owners have the ability to seek cancer treatment when a pet dog is diagnosed. Renee says if this vaccine works, hopefully fewer families will be faced with a tough choice. I can't imagine not having them in our life. Dr. Burton says if this vaccine works, then cancer specialists will look into whether a similar approach may also benefit humans. Cancer affects everybody. Um, it affects our loved ones, whether they have two or four legs. There's always a risk of side effects with any vaccine, but so far researchers have only seen mild cases, including temporary soreness at the injection site. In Alameda County, Juliet Goodrich, KPIX 5. UC Davis is one of three sites testing the vaccine and the only one in California. Yeah, the trial is still open to healthy dogs to see if your dog would qualify. You can go to KPIX.com.